Le Mans, you've been here a few times, what, but this is a very special event, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's special every time, to be honest, and, and this one particularly so. It, it's just the build-up. I think it started a couple of years ago. They started talking about the Centenary Edition. We're finally there, and it's just, it's a huge privilege and an honor to be part of it. So I'm super excited. LMP2 looks pretty strong again, once again. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, well, in pro, it's as strong as ever. I mean, there are, there are some teams in LMP2 who deserve to be in, uh, in hypercar, to be honest. That's how fast they are. And that's what will happen now with Jota, WRT, and so forth. In pro -Ram, there's a very strong field, eight cars, but I think uh, the majority of them can gun for a podium. So, and the pros in pro -Ram are as quick as the pros in uh, LMP2 Pro, so it should be very exciting. I think it proved in, in Barcelona because we had three uh, pro -Ram cars in the top five. Yeah, that's right. I mean, car 34, who's the clear favorite for me in LMP2 pro -Ram, they, they won overall in Barcelona. Uh, we actually finished third overall, which was a huge surprise. So, I mean, it goes to show that, you know, with the safety car game, you know, a lot, a lot can happen. I think we'll see how it differs in Le Mans. Um, I think they're not that they're going to try to do as little a safety car as possible because it sounds like it's going to be a very long procedure. So if we can have a clean race, good weather, just a few slow zone, zone here and there, you know, that'd be, that'd be amazing. Obviously, the cars, are, the LMP2 cars are going to be adapted for Le Mans because obviously you've got hypercars here, which you don't have in ELMS. Is the car going to be very different? Um, I think it'll be uh, slightly less powerful than last year. Definitely a lot less powerful than what we have in ELMS and IMSA for that matter. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a low downforce kit. I mean, it's, it's a necessary evil, shall we say, to uh, you need to create a gap with the hypercars, which themselves had to be a lot slower than LMP1 for cost reasons, which we all know about. So, you know, it's, if it's what it takes to race, so be it. And you're going to be watching your mirrors for those hypercars because there's a lot of them. Yeah, I think talking to my friends like uh, Niklas, uh, who's now driving car 50, they, they're not that much faster than the P2s in the corners because they're very heavy. However, I think top speed will be tremendous. I reckon maybe, I don't know, 340, 350. So it's, it's going to be amazing. Well, good luck. Enjoy this week and we'll see you at Le Mans uh, for next weekend for the 100th anniversary edition. Thank you very much.